So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this garland for my mantle. I tried to keep it pretty simple and timeless um, and I didn't spend more than about $35. So yeah, um, let's get started. So the first place that I went was to my local nursery where I was able to look through a bunch of different kinds of garland and I ended up finding a mixed rope that I really liked. It had a bunch of different kinds of pine on it. And I had them cut this into two separate yards and tie those together. Then when I got home, I just popped it right onto the mantle. And then anything that was draping a little too far, I just wound back into the center. So taking those two cords, separating them, and then just almost braiding them in just to make it a little bit thicker in the middle and not hang too far over the sides. And I ended up doing this on both sides of the mantle. So then once I was happy with the way that it looked, um, I grabbed these lights from Anthropology. It's 12 feet of fairy lights and it has 200 LED bulbs on it. And I just started weaving these through the actual garland um, sort of in a spiral motion so that it didn't just look like one straight line of lights and they sort of could blend in with the actual pine itself. Um, but we don't need to watch me do this, so I'm just going to speed up this bit. And then once I was happy with that, I was ready to start adding in some additional touches to the garland. I picked up these pine cones at the nursery. I thought they were really pretty and they were about 50 cents each. They make it um, a little more complex and I think they add some sort of foresty vibes to the garland itself, which is so perfect for winter time. Um, so I just started popping these in. I didn't bother tying them to the garland because it is just going to sit there and this was a huge time saver. Then I grabbed a few candles. Um, I have one large white candle and a gold candle that I just sort of nestled in. And then I had some silver votives that I started tucking in the middle of the two cords. I wouldn't recommend putting an actual lit candle in there, maybe use an electronic, because garland can dry out. And then the last step was just to light it. So this is what it looks like lit up, and that was all that I did. It took me about five minutes, and I'm really happy with it. So yeah, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a very Merry Christmas! Bye!